everybody, and welcome to a new video. This time it's on a game called Eidolon. It's an idol MMO, and I'm just starting off with a brand new character here. And I'm going to give you some tips and tricks for the game. So first, what you want to get, uh, do is talk to this NPC right here. He's the piece of paper. And get the first quest, which is to beat five green spores. You're going to need to go through this portal. And then start punching these guys. You click on them to punch them. And then when you defeat one, it adds it to the quest up there. So you're going to need to defeat five of them. I'm taking damage right now just because I just started out and I'm pretty weak. But pretty soon, it, like pretty early in the game, these guys become like really weak and you can one shot them. So just one more kill to go. Okay, once you do that, you're going to want to head through this portal and collect all the loot on the ground. You'll need that for later and talk to your paper again until you get the next quest. You'll get one of the ingredients from completing that quest and then you're going to... What you're going to need to do is go to this shop over here. Oh, you're right, I forgot. There are still talent points. You're going to want to invest all your talent points in damage and HP early on. So I'm just going to quickly upgrade that. Okay, now you can head to the shop. It's right over there. You just click on it. Head to the shop first before the anvil. And then buy five tape. It's right there. And now head to the anvil and craft the boxing gloves. Now you can equip these and complete the quest. Now, after completing this quest, you're going to need to go back over to this green portal. And then see that skull counter on that gray portal? You're, that's how many green spores you're going to have to defeat before you can get to the next map, which is what the next quest is. So I'm just going to be defeating green spores with the new boxing gloves, I can almost one-shot these. That's also because of the talents. The talents are a really important aspect of the game, so make sure to invest points when you can. So, pick up everything you see on the ground because you'll need those ingredients for later. Like these are spore caps. Those are a material you're, you'll need those for like crafting and things. And then they also drop copper coins, which is the currency. You'll use those to buy stuff at the shop. Another important aspect of the game. And then also they drop XP, which allows you to level up. Leveling up is also a very important part of the game. So you're going to get to the next area. You don't have to do anything there. If you saw that yellow triangle in the corner, uh, the top left corner of the screen, that just means you're under leveled and your survival rate is low. And I'm pretty weak since I just started out on this character. So when you complete that, you're going to want to talk to Scripticus again and spend talent points. You should have already done that, but if you haven't, just invest some points into any talent. Like I said earlier, HP and damage are the best for early on. And now for this one, you're going to have to go through this portal on the left and complete quests from another NPC. 
So for that quest rewards, you'll just get an inventory bag, hold down on that to get an extra inventory slot, and some one hour time candies, which allow you to skip forward in time. Now you need to get this guy's quest, and I'm gonna use a time candy on mining right now, just to speed things up. And you're gonna wanna stick that into the furnace. Then complete the quest and now smelt a copper bar. You're gonna wanna put in the tutorial oil and get your copper bar. Now you can complete the quest and now you need to buy upgrades for your furnace. I've already done this since this isn't my first character, but if you haven't, just go to this arrow and hit the upgrade button on some things. That costs coins, which you can get from defeating monsters. And then after completing that quest, you'll get the mining certificate. Oh yeah, and the mining pouch, you're going to need to consume that to get extra carry cap for ores and oil and stuff. So now I can carry 25 copper ore instead of just 10. Now you're gonna wanna go back through this portal. I have more talent points to spend, so I'm just going to put those into luck. Luck's also very important early on, because that increases drop rate, which is important. So I'm just gonna deposit some of this stuff into the storage chest and equip this red headband. You'll get this from one of Scripticus' earlier quests. I forgot to equip it. So you're just gonna need to equip that. I'm actually not going to since my starting ad is actually pretty good. So I'll complete that quest and you'll have to craft the farmer broom and orange teeth. Now, you'll have to grind for those resources. I showed you how to get uh, copper ore and oak and spore caps, but if you don't know where to get oak logs, you just need to go to where the green spores are. And tap on that tree. You can go over there. And then click at, on AFK info just to see like your drop chance and stuff. This time it's 21% where a log dropped. That's how you get your oak logs. Now I'm not gonna gather all the resources manually because I have other characters who have already gotten the resources for me. So I can just go to the storage chest and grab all that. And craft these. You're going to want to equip the farmer burn and orange tea and complete the quest. Now for this one, you're going to have to go back to world two. Oh you're right. There are some consumables you're going to need, like you get this carry capacity pouch which increases capacity for monster drops. Like now I can hold 25 frog legs instead of just 10. And a recipe to get you the blue tea, which I already own because I have other characters. But it's a pretty good piece of armor early on. So now, you're going to want to go back to world, or map 2. Over here. I'm just going to invest some more talent points. And just go down here to find Picnic Stowaway. Now for this first quest, you're going to have to buy 20 nom, which is from the shop. So go back to the Blunder Hills town.
and buy 20 gnome which is from the shop. We have a first spin right up there. And now you can return to the second map to complete the quest. Oh yeah, also if you go onto the map you can actually teleport places. Now don't use too many teleports because they are limited unless you buy something in the gem shop, but I'll tell you about that in the next video. So then complete this quest and after that you'll have to start punching frogs and use the one hour time candy to get these mustard and ketchup bottles for this quest. Okay, and now there are these mushrooms. You can, uh, you should probably be able to one-shot those by now. And they have this fist above their heads. That just means they have increased damage. But if you have a high enough defense so that they can't hurt you, it won't do anything. So you don't have to worry about it. Or just like regular green mushrooms. And now once you've completed the quest click on there and you'll get the jam so head back to the town and complete the quest Okay, now for this last quest, I'm not going to do it in this video since it involves a lot of grinding and stuff. So I'm just going to use this inventory pouch. And... So this golden gem is actually pretty good. Same thing with the wooden katana. You're going to want to equip both of those. going to just deposit the rest of my stuff into storage and use this food pouch. Now we can carry even more food. Okay, and that'll be it for this video.